I was kind of shocked by this. Number one, Rush Limbaugh, we thought, I thought, would be an interesting owner for an NFL franchise, especially the St. Louis Rams. He knows a lot about him. The guy likes to win. The guy understands sports. The guy broke it, uh, cut his teeth in business with the Kansas City Royals as a salesperson. Huge sports fan, knows a lot about football. Then we heard about the backlash. People like Jesse Jackson, Reverend, uh, Al, Reverend Sharpton. Al Sharpton coming out and saying this can't happen because of some comments that they deem to be uh, racially insensitive. That's let's right. Say. So uh, yesterday, the uh, investor group that Rush was a limited partner in uh, dropped him because of all this stuff. And Rush on his show... That's Dave Checkets. Yeah, exactly right, from the uh, St. Louis Blues. Uh, Rush says that this is a smear campaign against him to discredit conservatism. And it's interesting because uh, he's, there are a number of quotes on other networks that Rush never said, he says. And in fact, the Media Research Center said to these networks, sent him letters and said, if you can prove he said that, prove it. Otherwise, apologize because you're, you know, you're, you're smearing this guy. Mm -hmm. Nothing from them. Well, emails what, are pouring and, in. Well, emails are pouring in. And one other quick point is that some of the players said that they you know, would boycott and they wouldn't play for his team. And I thought that that was somewhat hypocritical in the sense that a lot of these players have gotten in trouble with the law for big time things and they have been allowed to come back to the league. So it does appear that there might be a, a double standard there. But let's see how you feel about it. Our first email comes from Christy in Missouri. It is a sad day in America when people can target someone for their political views with slanderous statements and affect the outcome of a private citizen's business deal. Unbelievable. From Pat in New York, if Russia owning a football team sends the wrong message, what about not paying your taxes or undermasking your income a half million dollars like Charlie Rangel? That's a double standard. That brings us to our question of the day. That's right. Is there a double standard being held against Rush Limbaugh? Email us at friends at foxnews.com. And speaking of double standards, yesterday uh, Rush addressed the whole Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton thing, talking about, remember, they're the guys who rushed down to uh, North Carolina to effectively convict the white lacrosse players at Duke mm. and did they ever apologize absolutely not uh, it's just uh, it's astounding you can't tell. I'm really surprised that Dave check just said back out he goes I, I want to buy this team rush you're out mm -hmm. I was kind of uh, a little bit uh, caught by, uh, yeah so email us friends at foxnews.com meanwhile Eric Bolin we're dealing in he joins us from the Fox Business Network Eric come on uh oh over. he comes with goodies well <laughs> that's, oh, oh, that's so doing? good no by the way, you look Gorgeous today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. Uh, two year anniversary today. Fox Business. That's right. How about and that? And this is our celebratory uh, cinnamon it, it, roll? Uh, it, it was very early in the morning. I couldn't uh -huh. find any candles, but let's thank just pretend you. there's a couple of candles you on there. <laughs> you should have a candle because uh, Wall Street hit 10,000 yesterday on the yeah. Dow, and some are saying yippee, but others are going not so fast. Exactly. Uh, 10,000 uh, for the first time since.